What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the new moon, so we are going to be looking at our sixth uh, Chinese zodiac, which is the year of the snake. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, so good fortune and luck are in store for people born in the year of the snake. Um, 2021 horoscope claims the year of the ox is one for building, anchoring, and um, concretizing some older wishes and ideas that couldn't be put in practice until now. Uh, and in 2021, the most valuable advantage is communication through which you can improve relationships, solve older conflicts with your family and relatives, uh, and you can obtain um, contractual benefits as well. All right, so as always, the elements. So wood snakes will be years ending in a five. That are the snake years. So 1965 was our last one. Our that should also have what would that be? 20 so 2025 will be a wood snake as well. Um, going off of that. Um, so this year you will have the chance to meet new people, um, which don't we all wish that to be the case for everybody? Uh, meeting new people would mean that international travel is allowed again. Um, so hopefully we're all allowed what wood snakes are going to have. Fire snakes, yours is one step better. In 2021, make new friends. So if we all do get what happens to the wood snake, you guys might even make new friends when you travel. If not, it could be a new job that you're going to make friends through. You might decide to join a gym or some sort of fitness class where you'll make some new friends. Um, it could be, I mean, it could be any sort of uh, class. You might start, you might go back to, to college to study for something. Um, you might, you know, take up some sort of uh, a creative hobby and get into a new community and make friends there. It could be anything, but you will make new friends this year, which is always great. Um, your years always end in a seven fire snakes. So 1977 was our last one there. Uh, Earth is then in the middle. Uh, our last year for Earth was 1989, so ending in nines. Uh, and this year you will find the job that is right for you uh, and we will see whether or not you've already done that or not later on when we look at the month by month. Um, we then come to our um, metal I believe is next. Um, so our last year there was 2001. Uh, so bright and early in the new millennium um so metal snakes travel in a special place around the world um, now it doesn't say that you are going to travel around the world it simply says you're going to travel it says in i'm assuming it means to travel to a special place around the world so that special place could be a little lookout that only you and one other you know that you have like a strong memory with you know your best friend um and it's just within your little town you might find that you're starting to spend a lot more time there um or it could be the case that later on this year you know international borders will start opening up and you will you will travel to somewhere special around the world uh and then last but not least is the water snake um and 2013 was our last one water snakes so these are our these are our babies um our what were they eight year olds um at least by the end of this year they'll be eight year olds um 
And for you, the prediction is that you do not have to expect anything extraordinary this year. Um, so, yeah, um, you're not going to have to get your hopes up, which can be a blessing in disguise. Uh, obviously, we'd like to hope that there's something enjoyable, you know, in the foreseeable future for you. Um, but it's not going to be one of those, like, big life-changing events. Um, so, yeah. Now, is this actually... Sorry, I've got my phone on charge because it's running low. Mm -hmm. It's charging now. Cool. It's on 4%, but my tablet was flat. Anyway, money and finance snakes. So between March and June of 2021, um, and this is specifically pointing out that it's going to be March and June of 2021, not of the lunar year. So we're not having to do any sort of shifting and correcting. It's March and June. So March, April, May, and June. Um, in terms of finances, you will be lucky. So you have been very lucky in the last three months hopefully continuing through the rest of this month you've been very lucky in terms of finances um, because the money comes whenever it's needed oh, i wish that was the case for dogs i wish that was the case for dogs um having some money issues um but glad to hear that you are not really glad to hear that you're not i do not wish this on anybody um in 2021 snakes will be cautious with their money but generous when it comes to friends and family. Now I notice that the word there, the wording there, the wording there is something to be aware of because snakes can be the way Western people look at snakes. These snakes, sneaky snakes. Um, so you're you're going to be cautious with your money, but generous with your friends and family. So that could be, rather than spending money on them, spending more time on them, spending more thought and action on them. Um, doesn't necessarily mean more money. Um, so let's also be aware of that. Um, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be buying everybody that you love lavish gifts um, because you're being cautious with your money. Um, but if it comes down to it and they can't afford a cup of coffee and you can afford their cup of coffee, you're going to be generous. Um, cool. So, um, also, snakes must approach a career that doesn't imply taking any risks, even if the uh, risk requires only hard work. Um, which is the most I have no limbs thing I've ever heard. Snakes are going to take jobs that are literally the easy way out um, but I also don't think that's a very snake thing to do I'd have to double check what the actual um, personalities of snakes are but this is this is what we've got so far yeah um, and our approach careers that don't involve any risks basically uh, during this year, you are efficient in decision-making functions. Uh, wonder how my Libra snakes are going to be doing this year. Um, because efficient decision-making is not a well-known Libra trait. Um, but it does mean then uh, that if you are a Libra snake, um, that this year... You are, you are on top of it, aren't you? You are just, you've picked a side of the, of whatever particular battle you are facing and you are charging headlong in that direction with that cardinal motion that Libras have. Um, so good job. Um, if you are a manager, snakes, um, or if you are working in the IT domain, uh, everything should go smoothly for you. Um, management IT should be smooth um, 
which means that if you can find a job that's in, in management that doesn't involve any risks, um, let us all know what that job is, uh, because I don't think anyone else has heard of it. Um, cool. Year of the Ox um, is not the most suitable for snakes changing jobs and even less uh, for changing their activity field. Um, so don't suddenly go, you know what, medicine's not doing it for me, I'm going to become a professional footballer. Uh, that's, <laughs> don't do that. Um, if you're looking for a job, the greater the experience in the respective field, the better chances you have. Uh, if you're trying to get hired in a new field where you have no experience, the chances are fairly low. I mean, this is just basic sense at this point. Um, you need to show a lot of tenacity and help, uh, uh, and the help of those around you can be decisive in terms of professional career between, and it's, it gives us specific dates here, August 20th and November 30th, right? So basically, uh, all of Virgo season, from Virgo season to the end of November. Uh, the snake natives can expect a period when they need to work hard and not count too much on luck. What's interesting is that it's starting with uh, Virgo season and Virgo is sixth in its respective zodiac. So we're seeing a lot of repetitions of six here. Uh, I'm not sure if that's one of your lucky numbers. I would have to double check. Um, but I just find it interesting that the sixth sign is, is lining up with the sixth, the sixth sign as far as um, that particular thing is coming. Um, working hard and not counting much on luck. Uh, of course, a lot of work also means a lot of stress, but if you work, uh, if you work as your nature dictates, which is scrupulously and meticulously, uh, you'll manage to avoid many stressful situations. Um, luck is not your best ally towards the end of 2021, uh, as we just saw. Um, December's probably not going to pick up too much in the luck department. Um, but hopefully in the new year, it will. Um, so yeah, not your best ally towards the end of 2021, but you can count on the help of those around you, especially when making important decisions. Love. Everybody wants to know. Um, those with the snake Zodiac will be lucky in love in the year of the ox, which is always good to know. It's always good to know you're going to be uh, a lucky in love. Uh, in 2021, uh, the snake man will be romantic and charming. He will have a sense of humor, um, while women will be will usually be uh, beautiful and successful. Uh, so it's always good to know um, that uh, that those boss those, those uh, boss bitches out there are going to be successful. You've got this coin. Uh, if the snake chooses a partner, he or she or they uh, become jealous and possessive even after they stop being in love. Uh, rejection is the biggest hit for this delicate ego which gets to suffer. Um, so yeah, snakes are the egotist of the Chinese zodiac, uh, in case you didn't know. Uh, snake needs to be welcomed, accepted, uh, and they need the approval of those who get in contact with them. Um, they need to feel safe. Um, and just so we're aware, I'm, I'm also changing all of the pronouns here to um, today, sort of from here on out. Um, that whole paragraph is written in the masculine form. So I'm just going to change them all today. Because um, we want our women to be successful too. We really do. We love a successful woman. Uh, so for the snakes, while work is more stressful than other times, family life will be free of problems, which we love to hear. On the contrary, the accomplishments of your children and younger relatives are a reason for joy. Um, I think that's supposed to come in with that saying, it's like, family life will be free of problems. Um, 
those close to you will help you relax uh, and even offer you good tips to solve the issues that are bothering you. Excuse me, but hiccups. Um, provided you communicate openly with them and tell them your issues. Uh, which, I mean, comes with... It comes with the territory, right? You're not going to have a relationship with someone if you're not communicating with them. So it kind of comes with the territory. Um, your social life uh, can bring you fulfillment, especially if you let your native curiosity run free and try new things. So for instance, it says here, a new hobby can make you join new circles where you have the opportunity to make new friends, to meet new people. And we know that our fire and wood snakes are going to meet new people and make new friends. So, like I said, a new hobby. Um, and, and obviously for, for all snakes, social life is going to be fulfilling even if you're not making new friends. And it's fine. If you've already got your, your people and you are happy and fulfilled with your people, don't break what's not broken, right? Don't, don't, don't fix what's not broken. However that saying goes. Um, so yeah, um, moreover, your new acquaintances, whether they be friends or not, uh, can play an important role in your life in the future. So you're going to meet uh, important people if you are meeting new people. Um, and obviously from the sounds of this, you're probably going to take up a new hobby um, while, um, while the whole COVID era comes to an end. Um, so you can try new things in your personal life and in fact it's recommended to do so during this year. Uh, you can count on the support of your relatives and friends and the new relationships you establish during this year um, can soon prove to be very valuable as well. Our compatibilities though, what are they? We want to know snakes are compatible with the ox and the rooster. Um, they're going to have a perfect relationship both for marriage and in business. Understanding and trust will prevail and these unions are successful. Um, it, it, it really do be uh, like, like that with snakes. Um, the whole ambitious thing for Slytherin fits here. Okay, you guys are going to be wanting to have um, understanding and trust because you want to build success together whether that's in business or in love and marriage uh, health physically uh, snakes are doing fine from the start of uh, Chinese New Year it's a, it specifically states Chinese New Year here um, so that was the new moon in February is where we're looking at that so from there until the next Chinese New Year, you sort of need to keep him in mind here. Um, it is also low key why I'm putting these videos out on the new moon, um, so that you know when we're in <laughs> the new lunar month. Um, so that it's, I mean, it's, it helps make it easier to track throughout the year. Um, so, yeah. Um, so yes, um, you'll be doing fine. You'll be full of energy. However, it's not excluded to go. Uh, it, it won't be sort of out of the ordinary. I'm, I don't know why, but it's always in health that the punctuation and the the um, grammar. Thank you. I had the word. Um, it just seems to disappear in this section. Um, but it's, it, it's basically saying here that it's not going to be rare uh, if you go through mild depressive states and transient anxiety. Uh, those, th those things, even though you're going to be full of energy, those you're still going to have your downer days. Um, and these can even lead to some episodes of insomnia, um, which, you know, Welcome. Hi, it's currently 1.30 a.m. So welcome to the insomnia game. Um, the people born in the year of the stake will need to stay in the sun as much as possible and to spend time outdoors. You're a snake after all. Go and bask in it. 
uh, if you're current, if, if you're living in the Northern Hemisphere, you uh, lucky buggers, currently in summer, go and soak it up. It is freezing here. Um, I'm actually I'm scared to check the temperature. Um, I don't know. It's it, it's low. It's it's low. Um, it's easily single digits of Celsius. Um, it's freezing. Um, a physical occupation, it says here, such as gardening, sport, um, or cycling. And I love that it separates cycling from sport. No one hates sportsmen. Um, but gardening, sport, or cycling can be very helpful for getting rid of excess energy, maintaining mental balance, and enjoying restful sleep. Maybe that's what I need to do. I need to get back on my bike and get for a ride. We have a bike track just, just down the road. Maybe I should get it, but get back into moving that. There's also a little workout station there. I might do that. Um, towards the end of 2021, my beautiful little serpentines, um, the tense situations that occur due to overstress will manifest as aches with latent effects at the level of the internal organs, especially those with a vital role. Which doesn't sound like fun, does it? Aches with latent effects on vital internal organs. So that's lungs, heart, brain, uh, stomach, liver, both the intestines, kidneys. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun, fun time. Now, furthermore, because snakes hardly ever allow their brain to rest, they're going to face an increasingly evident proneness to mental disorders. Welcome to the crazy gang. Um, in 2021, a weak spot regarding inf infectious, infectious affections is represented by the neck area. The snake native being very exposed to affections of the nape, neck and other parts of this area. Um, which tells me that you all love your neck kisses. Uh, and if someone's going to give you one of those, you're going to latch onto that affection like nothing else. Um, it's, it, it, it's sort of your one pick me weakness, um, where if they do that, you're like, I, I, I pick you. Uh, so, yes. Lovely, lovely neck kisses. Um, Will admit, they're not bad, hey, they're not bad. You've got good taste, snakes. All right, so your luck predictions and the feng shui tips. Favorable directions, west and east. Your lucky colors are white and gray. Your lucky numbers, five and eight. Um, your favorable months, Chinese lunar months. Of February so that was the month starting with the uh, new moon in March July which will be the new moon in August and December which will be the new moon in January um, and will actually be the one that ends with Chinese New Year next year um, they will be your favorable months um, unfavorable months will be March and October, so we're looking at March there being the new moon in April until May. So you probably just come out of that um, a month ago. And October, so November um, into the new moon in December. Although at the moment, I think going off the progression of the new moons, that's going to be getting very close to being back on target sort of thing that may just end up being solely just November um, depending I, I think I think uh, don't don't entirely quote me on that um, so your symbols for luck your objects for luck um, monkey with peach on horse is a remedy made out of golden colored resin the golden color represents the metal element and it tracks the positive energy yang 
provides the power of action, increases the authority and the chances to obtain and a, a function with high social status. The monkey sits with the feet on the horse in a position that indicates the will to succeed. Translated literally from the Chinese language, monkey on the horse, um, which I'm not going to try and pronounce. Um, I mean, I probably will off camera, but um, the link for this will be in the description below if you want to see what it says and try for yourself. Um, but translated from the Chinese language, monkey on the horse um, essentially comes to mean quick promotion. Um, and the pair of mandarin ducks, male and female, are frequently found in the bedroom of the couples who want to have lucky in love, fidelity, and a successful marriage, uh, but also in the bedroom of the single person who's looking for the right partner for a long-term relationship. The mandarin ducks are a suitable choice for a wedding present. If you know any, uh, this has now become a, if you know any snakes getting married video. Um, so yeah, suitable, suitable wedding present, uh, having a good price to be offered as wedding favours representing the symbol of a happy couple married for life. The best advice for you in 2021 is, before you speak, listen, before you write, think, before you spend, uh, before you invest, investigate, before you criticise, wait, before you pray, forgive, before you quit, try before you retire save and before you die give all right the month by month horoscope let's do it january those are who those who are already in a stable relationship will have the opportunity to consolidate it single snakes will have many floaty encounters and a love story may also occur uh, but it will probably be it will probably be just transient uh, so it's not, it's uh, here for a good time, not a long time, sort of deal. After February 16th, some heat discussions with the relatives might occur regarding um, patrimony or simply life principles. Uh, it would be better to make any home shopping or to sell some extra goods until February 16th, because after this date, errors and misunderstandings are likely to, are likely to happen. Obviously, for those who are actually interested in this part, we would have already read it. Um, however, I'm wanting to see how accurate these have been. So, so far, that's two months down. We've got three more to go, and then you can let me know in the comments below whether or not this has been accurate. Um, March. Following March 13th, the relationships with your superiors may deteriorate, which would easily lead to a uh, compromised public image as social status um, make sure you choose your words wisely and fulfill your task accurately and in time uh, april joyful and voluble you will leave a good impression on everyone you meet during the following period um, it is something unique in the way you act and talk that charms the people around you get ready for significant changes in your personal life purchasing a house is not out of the question so for any of my snakes watching buy a house in April. And then May, the most recent memory one here. You, uh, your summer? I'm assuming that's supposed to be summer. Your summer had been quite full of pleasant events which depleted you of almost all your energy. Take advantage of the weekends when you don't have many household tasks to do and get some rest. Socially, you will also enjoy a few pleasant surprises, especially at your workplace. For the remaining of this month, you will benefit from a series of gains, deserved accomplishments, um, and you will also receive money and you will reach some objectives for which you've worked intensely. Glad to hear we're ticking off those bucket list items. Um, we're getting some gains, to make accomplishments, receiving money, tick, 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 July. Um, it'll be possible that some past secrets or conflicts deeply buried will get out. Leave, um, leave your guard down if you are to blame and take responsibility for your actions. Don't get defensive. Um, 
in love, an ex-partner will likely reappear in your life, just not for a new romantic relationship. So if it's that ex you want to get back with, it's not going to happen, hun, I'm sorry. Um, but it will be for settling some overdue accounts. It's going to be some unfinished business you have with this particular person. You're going to come back and you're going to have to clean all that dirty laundry out. In August, the house of money is active this month for the snakes, which is why some unexpected earnings might occur. Uh, the higher the amounts received, the larger the expenses can be. Um, in September, at work, the second part of the month will be full of conflicts. Fortunately, in your personal life, you will enjoy a prolific period full of satisfaction. October, you'll need a lot of flexibility and calm to avoid the problems occurring at work, especially in the relationships with your subalterns. Uh, in November, first two weeks of November are going to be very active. Um, you'll barely have time to breathe much like me right now speaking this quickly, uh, you could use someone's help. If not, uh, when everyone else has fun, you will work overtime. Uh, so, ask. Ask for help. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to ask for help. If you are struggling with anything, please ask for help. Uh, because... We want you to be enjoying the fun as well. We love you. Um, fortunately, the help of one of your colleagues will get you out of trouble. The last part of the month will be a bit more peaceful, which is good to know going into December because we know what December is. We all know what December's like, okay? We've been to the shops in December at least once before. We know what it's like. And speaking of... You will finally receive the news you were expected for a few you were expecting for a few months. So you may already be expecting this news. You may not be expecting it until August or September, maybe October. Um, but it does specify a few months, so it's not gonna be oh uh, been waiting since November, because that's only gonna be a month. Um, unless this is gonna happen at the end of December, in which case, sure, November as well. Um You'll be extremely happy in December and you will celebrate it for days in a row, which kind of sounds like your Christmas break right at the end of the year is going to be awesome. It's going to make you so happy. Um, almost the entire month, um, you will be with your head in the clouds. Um, because of you, those around you will also be optimistic and in a good mood as well. So you are going to be the one uh, who is sort of the life of the party come Christmas Day. Good, good on you, Mr. Snakes. Uh, that's all I've got for this video. Again, link will be in the description down below if you want to go read this yourself, do any research. The same, um, the same page also um, does the, the personality profiles as well, so you can go and check those out if you want to as well. Uh, but that link will be down below. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to ring that good old notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, keep your head screwed on.